The COVID-19 pandemic continues to deliver uncertainty to every sector, yet paradoxically it also brings with it the opportunity for growth and development. We went to see how the fintech revolution has picked up pace in 2020 as businesses adopt transformation processes to manage systems to better serve their customers. London has long been regarded as the financial capital of the world. Its location allows bankers and traders to serve markets in Asia and North America during business hours as well as European ones. It now stands virtually empty as the COVID-19 pandemic has forced businesses to turn to more digital processes and they're looking to the fintech sector to provide some rapid solutions. With many working in financial services now largely home-based, the pandemic means fintech is under enormous pressure to deliver. The Centre for Alternative Finance at University of Cambridge Judge Business School has interviewed financial regulators and policymakers on a rapid assessment of the impact of COVID on fintech regulation. Part of the study looks at, well, you know, how are, how are fintech firms, you know, these firms that are, have developed innovative ways of distributing uh, and making financial services available. How, how, how is COVID impacting them? And doing that at very large scale, right? By, by really getting them to reveal how their businesses were changing and how their markets were changing. Financial regulators reported an overall increase of 60% in digital payments. The study showed 78% reporting online security as an increasing risk. And 90% said they'd benefit from further training to support their work on fintech under COVID. The Cambridge Centre for Alternative Finance worked with Fintech Circle, a global platform of more than 130,000 fintech specialists, to reach out to its members to participate in the survey for a soon-to-be-released parallel study which examines the impact of COVID-19 on fintech firms. To make these studies impactful, you need large-scale data you need to collect it quickly. You need to get your results out quickly so people can respond quickly. COVID's happening now, right? And so it's working with FinTech Circle, for example, that we're able to reach out to their network, you know, very, very valuable in being able to support that data collection. FinTech firms multiplied after the financial crisis in 2008, but potentially unfair competition loomed from huge platforms moving into financial services. A paper jointly authored by the Cambridge Centre for Alternative Finance and economists from the Bank for International Settlements looks closely at the growth of this non-bank lending or big tech. The power of these big plat tech platforms to take an increasingly potentially, and I'll underscore potentially, dominant market position in financial services is something that, again, people talk about but no one had really measured that growth relative to measuring the growth and expansion of the fintech activity, specifically in lending. And that's what we did. These additional players create problems for regulators who need to make sure that they can curtail monopolistic behaviour through regulation or reg tech. When we talk about reg tech, that's often the descriptor used to describe the application of technology for, for regulatory compliance and reporting processes within the firms that are regulated. But many of the same technologies are relevant for the regulatory supervisors, which we call subtech. This rapid growth of digital activity alerted the fintech sector to the need for information that could be quickly disseminated by those unfamiliar with the basics. A series of books jointly written by fintech circle members is helping to make the industry more accessible. Many people worldwide were interested you know, in learning about financial technology but did not know what it actually means. You know, what is fintech? What does it stand for? And how can you actually use it and benefit from it? Fintech is an umbrella term. So within fintech, we've got innovation happening in asset management in private banking. So this is called wealth tech. And innovation in, ins in the insurance sector is called insure tech. Other books cover payments, law, and artificial intelligence. And just a few weeks ago, we published Fintech for Dummies which is almost like an entry guide, you know, in the world of fintech and really helps people to understand what fintech is all about. The series is essential reading, not only for the global fintech sector, but also for those who want to work with it effectively.
We reach out to a global community of co-authors and I'm the editor-in-chief. Uh, so myself plus my team of co-editors, we then try to pull the best parts together to share this knowledge in a very practical way with our global audience. FinTech is moving forward by focusing on collaboration. Although the pandemic has brought great challenges, by working together, the sector believes it can turn adversity into advantage.